Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to attempt to install the hot and cold water line into the bathroom walls. I've obviously never done this and, <laughs> and let me tell you that mistakes will be made. So definitely stay tuned and learn from my lack of knowledge. And hopefully you won't be making the same mistakes if you have to plumb a wall or plumb a cabin. Okay, let's get into it. <clears throat> Ah, oh, come on. And typically we want this four inches on each side. So something like that. Okay, so next one is the toilet. And the toilet is gonna have to be on the left side of it. And it's gonna have to be six inches on the left and then seven and a half from the bottom. Cause it's seven from the finish floor. So seven and a half from the sub floor. So I need it right here. And instead of wasting another one of these cause they're expensive, I'm just gonna put a piece of two by six and then it's gonna lay right here. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. So next up is the kitchen sink, but you can see, I mean, this is so crowded. So let's see if we can make it work. We actually wanna be at 18 and a half from the subflow. I'm gonna have to have them both here. Uh, and that's just how it's gonna have to be. Okay, so that is it. So my water intake will come from above the bathroom. So I'm running a line down and I'm starting with a three quarter of an inch line, which then I will reduce to half an inch. possible, je l'ai éclaté quoi. Ok, deuxième essai. C'est pas possible, ouais, moi ça je les pète. Mais c'est de la merde, mais c'est incroyable. Oh là là, j'y crois pas. Bon, on va essayer de le faire direct dans le métal alors, mais... So, I don't know what's going on, but I've already blown two. Uh, this thing is supposed to be kind of like self-drilling type thing. I have no idea why. This isn't working. So you have to drive it directly into the metal. If you try and drive it into the pre-cut slots, you will shear it off and it won't okay. work. Okay. The pegs being so flexible, it makes it so much easier to work with than PVC. Yeah, looks good. Okay. There you go. Alrighty. Nice. Got it. After that, I did exactly the same thing with the hot water line. You can see that I'm connecting it first to the bathroom things to the right, and then to the kitchen sink to the left, and then finally to where the shower will be. 
Okay, so shower valve has to be 46 to 48 inches from uh, the floor. We'll do 47, there you go. And then obviously I have to add a piece of blocking here. <clears throat> okay, 17 and a half. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna work. That is not gonna work because we need actually this to be much deeper. Ah, oh, come on. And that's when I realized that something was definitely wrong here. Well, I screwed something up because my valve here needs to be, oh my goodness. How are you supposed to do that? Because this has to be here. Oh, does it really? Unless you kind of like, <laughs> I mean, you see my problem? My valve, this needs to be flush with the finish, uh, the finish wall. So the back of the ball and the tile. So this needs to be recessed, but the vent is in the way. And obviously I didn't think about that. Um, okay, so let's try and find out by how much I'm off. Okay, this is a one inch deck bone. So that will represent the thickness of the finish wall. Yeah, I'm screwed. Do you see that? Like I literally have to be, I can't believe I didn't think about this. Okay, I think I found the solution to the mistake. I mean, you can see what I did here, right? The vent goes directly, um, you know, is lined up with the, with the drain. And so obviously that's in the way of where my valve needs to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut this off here and we're gonna run it 90 degree at the bottom into here, into this, uh, you know, into the side of the wall. And then I'm gonna run it here and then I'll go through and reconnect it right there. All in all, not too bad of a mistake, uh, easily fix, uh, fixable. I just don't have <laughs> any of the plumbing, obviously, so I'll have to get that. Whoa. Wow, oh, that's pretty fast. Bam. So the middle is eight and a half. Okay. So for whatever reason, they did not give me a cap to protect this inside. So I'm just gonna tape it. All right, so now before I attach it, I have to install these little things here so that I can connect my pecs to it. I mean, you know, no pressure. If this is not done properly, it will just leak behind the wall. No big deal at all. So pay attention here. I'm about to make a major mistake. So that looks good. I'm just worried it's not tight enough. It's not that stable, I feel. I feel like you shouldn't be able to move it. So now we're gonna connect our wire line and that should be pretty easy. All right, big mistake coming right up. What? Are you serious? It's a three quarter? No, what the hell? Why? Why? C'est pas possible. Ça me dit pas que j'ai acheté le mauvais truc quoi. I think I bought the wrong stuff. No, seriously? I mean, that's the only thing they sold at this store. Well, you're not gonna believe this. The stuff I bought is for expansion type pecs, which is different from the crimp type pecs, which I've been using. This is what I should have bought. This thing here is different than what I bought. So I'm actually good to go back and get this and then somehow unscrew it from my valve. This is, this is the worst. This is not a good day. This is not a good day. So as you saw a minute ago, I put all the strengths I have to tighten those as much as possible. And now it turns out it's not the right size. So I gotta remove them. So that is gonna be hilarious. Sorry, doors. All right, how much does a shower valve cost? Because at this point, between wasting two hours and buying another one, I might buy another one. Oh, but it's not possible, ça. Okay. All right, I got one. All right, so now, 
Allez là. Ah, c'était bien, ouais. Non, mais ouais. Oh Allez Allez Deuxième. Second one. All right, I got just one last one. Allez là. Dernier, dernier. So I kept trying and trying and trying until eventually I struck an idea. Ooh. Oh, that's too small. I could, oh no. Check this out. I mean, it's definitely gonna go in the wood, but. <laughs> it worked. That worked. Oh, that was so cool. That's what I should have done. Just block it. All right, at least I don't have to buy another one of these. <sighs> okay. All right, so in the meantime, there's still, I need to put a piece of wood here so where I'll have my shower head. This time, I'm learning from my lesson and I mean, you can see at least I got the right attachment at the bottom. This was absolutely gonna fit half inch. So we're good with that. And then I just got, you know, my shower kit and just checking that this also is good because I'm tired of making those mistakes. So we're good to go with this. So 78. There you go. Yeah, so I just have to decide how deep. I think you can kind of flush it with the stud. I think that's, that's good. Oh, mais pas possible. So I usually try and remain calm, but this wood was splitting and it wasn't working properly. And then sometimes, you know, I just lose it. Oh, trust me, that felt good. I still need to go to Lowe's to get some missing plumbing items. So in the meantime, I installed all the protection plates to go over my water lines and also where all the plumbing go into the bottom plate and the top plate of the wall. It is a code requirement. And so you have the large plates to go at the bottom and the top plate and the skinny one will go directly over the stud widths. What I did here is fairly simple, so I'm showing you the accelerated version of it. I just went 90 degrees to the left into the next dot spacing and then went straight up, then back 90 degrees to connect back to the original vent line. See now? So I'll have room to run my valve here and, and then my shower. See that? That's the wrong kind. Don't buy this one. That's for expansion specific pecs. In my case, that's the one I really needed. You can see it's much smaller. So. Don't make the same mistake. We're back to where we were. I've changed all of these. I know that, okay, that fits. Something like that. And then connect directly to that one. nice to work with. It's so flexible and just fun. Just fun. Oh, see, like I love, you can like, you know, the fact that you can just flex it makes your life so much easier. And bam. Bam, 
All right. In the next episode, I am finally going back outside to finish up the front deck as well as building some indestructible end rails. I am absolutely loving how they turned out, so click the link here to see that episode and find out how I built all that stuff. All right, I'll see you in the next episode.